I'd just like to say a great big thank you to the guys over there at Images Magazine. Uh, thanks very much for allowing me to feature on your website. I really hope you guys are all enjoying, someone jumping around upstairs. Hope you guys are really enjoying the videos. Uh, if you want to watch any more, then check us out on YouTube. Just look up Ask AD. Thanks very much. Hi, today I'm going to be reviewing the Dagon trouser from Heroc. Um, okay, this trouser is from their expert range, so it's one of the top end products. Um, so I would like to first off talk about the fit of these trousers. So we did a little wear test on these and um, I really, really liked the fit of the trousers. I thought it was excellent. Um, I find that some of the trousers we try on and wear, they, they don't feel particularly comfortable in the crutch area. They feel a little bit low or the cut's not quite right. It's either a bit low or a little bit too high. A lot of work trousers are high at the moment. Um, so some of these guys are starting to put a little bit more effort into the fit. And I think this really got a thumbs up for me for the fit. It was nice and comfortable around the legs at the top. Um, it didn't feel too big around the ankles, um, too sort of sloppy. It would fit nicely over a pair of boots. The fabric was uh, nice and sort of lightweight, but not too lightweight. It just it just felt very nice to wear. Um, one of the reasons why it was nice to wear as well, I felt, was it has got this um, inner sort of like rubber type band, um, and it fitted really well. You know, when you sort of bent over or sort of knelt down, it didn't the trousers like you do with your jeans. It didn't sort of ride down straight away. It sort of wants to hold to the skin, which is great. And also, um, it's got this sort of adjustable band inside as well. So if you're not quite sure on the size and you get them that are just a little bit too big, you can take them in. Ideal for around Christmas time, you know, if you're putting on a bit of weight. Um, so yeah, that fit was fantastic. So let me tell you about a few of the features <coughs> of this particular trouser. Okay, it has pockets everywhere. So we've got pockets in the legs, the bum, we've got nail pockets in the front, we've got knee pad pouches. Um, we've got a lovely sort of finish on this trouser, um, which is a poly cotton mix, but it's got a water repellent outer sort of skin, which is really good. So if you're out and about and you get caught in the rain, um, the water is not going to soak in. So let me just show you what happens when we tip some water onto the trousers. Um, so you see, if we pour some water on, it's like just beading straight away. Um, and it's great. And we tried rubbing that through the trouser uh, and that uh, really didn't ingress through at all. Now, I'm not sure whether that's like a, a weave on the trouser there or actually whether <clears throat> um, it's just a coating. But either way, you know, you don't get that with a lot of trousers and I really like that feature. It's really good. So you can just tip that straight off. Man, it's gone. Dry trousers. I mean, that's a, that's a brilliant, brilliant feature. Okay, so... <clears throat> Um, let's start from the bottom up. Okay, with the trousers, you've got uh, this um, let down sort of hem. So if you're not sure on the leg length, you can buy a short trouser and you can let that down to a regular length. And again, with a regular and tall. You've got a Quadrora knee pad pouch on the front. Top loading, universal, takes any type of knee pad. Um, it's got some Velcro, uh, two Velcro points on the on the the first part of the flap and then on the inside it's got Velcro again. Pocket on the left leg, you have um, <clears throat> a, on the left leg, you have um, a nice bellow pocket there that you can put your wallet into and it's got a Velcro fitting over the top. And then a cheeky little pocket on the front there as well, you can put something else in there. Um, you've got your nail pockets, uh, which are fixed, um, which are handy. Underneath you've got additional pockets, probably going to lose your keys, you don't know where they are on these trousers. Um, you've got an open pocket on the bum and you've also got another pocket with a Velcro flap on the opposite bum cheek. On the opposite side of the trouser, I like this pocket actually quite a bit, this is very nice. So it's an open pocket, something you can just drop bits and pieces into like some nails or screws, um, <clears throat> tape measure. And you've got your phone pocket on the front as well. And that actually takes a nice large smartphone, which is good. Uh, so they're sort of like thinking ahead a little bit. 
Um, <clears throat> you've got a pen pocket and you've also got a knife holster there as well. Okay, <coughs> on the front we've got uh, YKK zip and a nice press stud um, with a Heroc detail on the front there. So, this trouser's got lots and lots of features and I wasn't really sure where this trouser would sit in the um, industry and who it would be actually aimed at and I think it's trying to sort of aim itself at lots and lots of different markets but without specifically being directed at one particular industry. And I think it would really suit um, maybe a HVAC or an engineering type industry, um, someone that's maybe a maintenance engineer that's working indoors, would be really good. Um, <clears throat> If you was a builder and working outside, um, it would be a fantastic trouser. It'd be nice and strong. You've got the triple stitching around the crutch area, so that's a really good feature. But I would have liked to have seen the addition of maybe some conjurer around the hem of the trouser. That's all. Um, I would also have liked to have maybe seen um, some reinforced features around the pockets on the bum. Um, just especially on the open pocket. Maybe, maybe it made on the... The, the pocket made on the crease of the trouser, trouser rather than actually just on the the, the seam. Um, it would have made the pockets maybe last a little longer. But then in that case, you've, you've got nail pockets on the front and maybe I'm just being a little picky there. I don't, you know, it's not, they're not bad features at all. It's just sort of things you see on other trousers. <clears throat> so this trouser would do most industries. It would be really, really good actually for um, a gardener as well because it comes in a khaki colour. Um, and again, you know, just kneeling down on a sort of a wet grass in the morning, it's just going to give you a little bit more protection, and I think that's really good. I like the uh, the fact that it comes in white, which you don't see, and I, when I first saw that, I thought that was a bit strange, but then I thought, actually, you know, plasterers and painters, they would love to have a trouser like this. Um, you know, you, can, you don't have to use these uh, little loops on the front for screwdrivers, you can use them for paintbrushes and stuff like that, and you know, that being in white, that's, that's great. Um, Especially like, you know, plastering, it can be like a damp sort of industry and stuff anyway. So, you know, just having that little bit of extra protection would be really good. I mean, the trouser itself is fantastic. And I'll, they've put a lot of thought into it. Um, and one of the main points I've got to say about this trouser is the fit is fantastic. So you, you're going to love it. Um, I, I don't think you'd be di disappointed at all. Um, I just don't think you can go wrong with it. So this is the Dagon trouser from Herock, and it's definitely got the thumbs up from me. It's fantastic. For more great reviews, blogs and free stuff, visit AskAD.com. To subscribe to our YouTube channel, click here. And for more videos, click here.